Hi, Dr. De Pasquale from NSI, and I wanted to talk just briefly about you know, hip pain. And the most common thing we see with hip pain is typically arthritis, and that would encompass the majority of the patients that we see with hip pain. But remember that hip pain can be caused by many different things. It can be caused by injuries, it can be caused by tears, it can be caused by repetitive stress. But for today, I wanna to kinda of make something very clear because what we see in terms of the conditions we treat all have to do with basically damage to tissue. So when we uh, experience pain or symptoms, any type of symptom, whether it's inflammation, joint dysfunction, or pain, those are a direct result of something. They don't just happen for no reason. And typically the reason why those develop are as a result of damage to tissues. So I think it's really important as a visual to understand what that looks like, because that'll kind of help with, you know, um, in terms of what we do and the paradigm shift as it relates to stem cell therapy and why we can be successful uh, for long-term relief of symptoms. So when we talk about a hip, this would be a hip, basically this would be a left hip facing you. We would have another one on this side. This is our pelvis. And essentially when a joint comes together, we have structures designed to cushion the blow. Let's say when two bones come together, we have cartilage in place so that that joint can be cushioned to some degree, but also it can glide and move normally. And with a hip, we're talking about a ball and socket joint, so it can move in many different directions. And as you can see in a normal state, we have a lot of blue stuff and that represents cartilage, both on the, um, the femur, the femoral head, as well as in the acetabulum, which is the socket in which it fits. Now remember also, there are other structures present, obviously the musculature or the muscles, but more importantly, there's a capsule or a labrum that holds this together. Now, when we develop arthritis or when we develop pain associated with arthritis, it's because that cartilage structure has worn down. And that's kind of the take home message. This is what it looks like. Once there's a repetitive stress situation or as a result of wear and tear over many years, that cartilage surface can wear down to a degree where now it creates irritation every time that we're standing, every time that we're moving, every time that we're walking, it creates inflammation, it creates pain patterns. And you know, the take home message is this, the pain doesn't happen for no reason. The pain is there because this tissue is compromised. Um, that's really the key and that's the reason why we work in the environment that we work in. In order to, to see a long-term relief of symptoms or in order to see a long-term solution, we must repair and regenerate this tissue. Because if we mask symptoms with medication, as soon as that medication wears off, this is only going to come back. Now here's the kicker. When it comes to cartilage as a tissue and the way in which we're all put together, cartilage does not have a blood supply. It has a very poor blood supply in fact. And as a result, when it becomes damaged, it doesn't have the capacity to heal. So in a stem cell therapy environment, it's really a very simple concept. We contain or possess the ability to heal. It's present in all of our tissues. Unfortunately, not so much in cartilage. And because there's no way for our body to get our ability to heal to cartilage, that's where we come in. We mitigate that healing process on your behalf by taking stem cells from where it exists and applying it in abundance to where the damaged tissue is. And remember that, you know, the reason why we show patients models and the reason why we, we do this is because, you know, it's really a paradigm shift. We're very used to just dealing with symptoms. The problem is that don't, that doesn't lead to a long-term solution and ultimately leads to surgical intervention, which is what most people come to us to prevent. The reason we can prevent it is because we treat the true nature of this disease. We repair and regenerate cartilage so that we can have a long-term positive effect and allow patients to have a quality of life and do the things that they enjoy. Hope that's helpful.